party leaders faced tough questions from a BBC Question Time audience over their economic plans in the final TV showdown of the campaign. Ed Miliband claimed Labour's previous so spending had not gotten out of control. And let me just explain to you the way I see it. There was a global financial crisis which caused the deficit to rise. Now look, President Obama isn't dealing with a high deficit because we built more schools and hospitals. He's dealing with a high deficit because there was that global financial crisis. So spend, but spending's got to fall. I said to this gentleman here, spending's got to fall. And that's why we will reduce spending. All right. and you, sir, David Cameron insisted the Conservatives were fighting for every seat. That's the trouble with coalition. You've got a great manifesto. You don't quite win the election. You go into some dark room with Nick Clegg or someone else and you start giving away some of the things that were in your programme. I don't want to do that. I think I've got a great programme about building these houses, creating these jobs, funding these apprenticeships, helping people with pensions. And crucially, this European referendum, which I've said absolutely that is a uh, red line. I don't want to give any of these things away. So I'm going to spend the next seven days flat out for victory. And if enough people watching this programme and back at home back me, we can have that victory and have the whole of the manifesto rather than have it bartered away in a darkened room. And Nick Clegg faced tough questions about his future. I just wondered if you've got plans for a new job after next week when you become unemployed and your party becomes an irrelevance. Charming. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Whilst the Labour leader was confident in his words, he did stumble in a literal sense as he left the stage.